Me, I love pot coffee. This mission has two objectives. Eliminate the colonel scheduled to take up a post at Smasi Fort, and stop the deployment of his tank unit. Your first move should be to head to Sakai village and search for the colonel and his deployment plans. What was that? My dog just made it like a snort. My fucking vi my control was vibrating on the table. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, I'd love to get into cooking and baking sometime too. Um, just because I love how technical it is. You know, like all the things. It's a lot of chemistry. All the things you can do with sugar and milk and water, you know? It's some very cool stuff. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> okay, you're right, it is chemistry. Belay that statement. Oh, this place. Do I remember this one? You see all that? <laughs> it's a lot of dudes. Oh, I do know this one. I remember exactly what I did last time. I found a vantage point and I shot every fucking tank that came through here. So let's see, how do we go about this? The Soviets confiscate homes and occupy them as needed. If you want to find a colonel, I checked the biggest houses in the village. Maybe I don't remember this one. Interesting. I played this game a year ago and I played it to death, but I don't really recall this one. I'm not picking anyone up either. Ah, oh, there's a man. That is, in fact, a man. There's another one. By God, they're everywhere. Let's see, is there anybody down here? Say the Jaws line, too. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Um, a 
few of these houses are actually in the map. I think these one on the top ridge up here aren't real. If I was a CO and I needed to occupy a house, I'd probably put it in the middle of the village. Or pick the one in the middle. Say hello to my little friend. I'm gonna make him offer he couldn't refuse. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I could have had style, I could have had class. <laughs> uh, hard mode, pick the most obscure movie you know and quote the best line from it. Found our new wife. Eh. <laughs> That's not obscure. <laughs> Top 10 references only Star Wars, true Star Wars fans will get at watchmojo.com. is clear. You don't see shit, man. It's the final countdown. Oh, I gotta get this. This guy can fuck off. I'm getting my fucking tape. Where is it? There it is. Who even sees? Nobody, that's who. Not a single fucking person here. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Think I can make it through that window? Nope. Damn you, game physics. And the funny thing is, it's a heat shell, so it definitely would have, should have gone through. Thanks, Intel team. He's coming too. You're a groovy bunch. That sounds like it's coming from somewhere beyond the village. What's this? 
giant shit slinger on the wall. Alright, let's go to work. Interesting to see if they can actually get the mortar around. We'll see. Hey, they can. How about that? Mortars are a little weak in this game. They can't really go that far, which is sad. Now the question is, where the fuck is that mortar? Kinda think it's right there. That looks like a mortar pit. Let's try it again. Well, it went in. Still didn't get anything, though. I see a mortar. See if this guy's coming over. Yes, he is. Oh, what the fuck. Oh, what the fuck. This is actually pretty accurate to how firefights in Afghanistan actually go. Is that a mortar? That looks like, like... That is a mortar. Yeah. Let's take care of that. Probably didn't. Hmm. Oh, I see. Bye. That's impact on the surface, my dude. Impact. What are you doing down here, bro? Snake. Do not do fucking kung fu moves while a man's shooting you. That's like basics 101 of CQC. See, there they go again with fucking making up shit. I guess I can't intimidate him now. What are you doing? See? It's all the way back there, shit. Yeah, fuck it, let's try that. Go away. So an interesting thing with the soldiers, you saw how the guy pulled his pistol out, right? So when you do CQC, you automatically disarm them. So that means knife, pistol, whatever they had on them. <coughs> but if you knock him out, let him get back up again, he will redraw his pistol every time. It just returns to his inventory. 
but you can also pick it up, so it exists in both places at once. Essentially, yeah, we might have to test that one of these days. But in theory, you could in fact create a uh, infinite amount of guns. Hey, whoa! Oh, I must have gone by an LRP guy. Alright. God damn it, I hate those guys. Uh, tank? These aren't tanks! This is just asses. Oh, it's over here. He lied to me. <clears throat> Sneaky fucking Soviets. Oh, there are people here. You know, I honestly don't remember this mission. Oh, I shouldn't be right there. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, excuse me. So despite this thing being an armored vehicle, it can actually come or be taken down with small arms fire. So we have to be really careful. Oh good, a medicinal plant. I needed those. I guess that is true. Donkeys are in fact tanks. I guess they do have their comms up. That sucks. Damn good thing we have something to take care of that, right? Fucking top tier driving here, snake. so useful you can hit 
several meters in front of you. I wish I could see right now. It's coarse and runny and gets everywhere. It's getting cold out. No sign of the enemy, they say. Where could they be, they say. Gee. I fucking wonder. Hey, jackasses. Surprise. This is confusing as shit. This is why it wasn't artillery in them. Shot at me with his pistol. Here's Johnny. Call the Kremlin, I don't give a fuck. There's a bunch of them over there. Fuck, I got out of the tank. Oh, where was that? Is that right in front of me? Let's just dump a bunch. ourselves an artillery war. I think I got him. Put out that light. Or I'm blackout.
Tactical espionage action. Oh, fuck. It's not what I wanted. <laughs> I want to get up on the building, not in the dumpster. I think that went well. That's not a door. There's no enemy left, you jackass. They've been murdered. There. Oh, that made someone upset. Where indeed? I don't know, it could just be a mystery, man. right next to my fucking tank. Ah, they're using my weakness against me. My love of armored vehicles. My Achilles heel. That sounds like an LMG. That doesn't sound like a... Let's go down there and investigate. I think we may have the new ordinance anyway. If I let you know. You do have an LMG, hey! Can I have that? you. Oh, he's nice. We'll give him a shot. Jesus, no wonder I was getting chewed up. They all had S and, or LMGs. Where's he saying prisoners were? You gotta extract him. Oh, he's right here. We were just in here, weren't we? Just saying. Can't imagine what a good day this guy's having now. 
sweaty, blood-covered man has shown up to whisk him away to a life of manual labor. Godspeed. Living the American dream. Exploiting foreigners. Okay, subject is in. Supply drop. Boss, that document you just got is the deployment plans for the Smasi Ford reinforcements. According to the plans, oh wait, I didn't. Oh no. Never mind, we're good. Barracks, and then proceed to Smasi Ford. I just need to go get my rocket Thanks launcher back. Doesn't make things easy. Hurry, boss. I sent the tank units around to your iDroid. So. Fain attack, you might be asking yourself, how do we take out an armored column with only one rocket launcher? I'll tell you exactly how. So the way to stop an armored column from moving is first you hit the main vehicle in the front. That's usually the heaviest vehicle they've got, but it's for good reason. Because if you block the path with a immobilized tank, they can't move forward. Next, you hit the guy in back. Then they can't retreat. And by that point, they will be pinned between two immobilized vehicles. So they'll either have to, one, abandon, two, push around, because they're probably going to push around to get security on either side. And by that point, you've got them exactly where you want them, because now they're exposing their side and flank armor. Also, if you ever need to try and take out a tank, always aim for the turret ring, never the body. The upper glacius plate on a tank is much heavier, and so is the turret, but the space in between the turret ring is that much more vulnerable. So let's see what do we got. Now in this game it usually takes two or three shots to get rid of these things. All right, turret ring. Oh, it went over. Son of a bitch. I didn't account. What are you looking, dude? Soviet armor is noticeably different. Um, it's actually a lot easier to pop them with a single warhead. I can't see. Oh no, you hit my tank! You evil fucker! Oh shit! <laughs> How dare you? I'll not let you live now. Alright, front still disabled, now we go for the back. And now you see that truck can't get through because the tank's blocking the way. Did my resupply go? There it is. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this seems like an unfair fight. He's got a mountain between him and that tank. Obviously those rounds are going to impact late. Not necessarily true. Oh fuck, I got to get the rocket ammo. Um... The first and foremost task of a tank is to knock out defenses, which includes earthenware. So don't think a hill is going to save you. Now see, we've got the perfect profile right there. You always aim for the turret ring. Or, if it's available, the lower glacius. And 
And now you see, he's kind of... This is a good duel, because... He knows the rock is coming. He moved forward just an inch so that my point of impact would actually be on the top of his turret ring. Right around here where his breach is. You see how he stopped? Probably because his breach has been damaged. Or it's just bad AI. There we go. Nice work. That's how you do it. Good. You've completed the objective. Now get out of there. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. It's always good to have a retreat path, and usually that's the way you just came. Now sometimes it might be more frugal to actually hit the vehicle in the back first. The back vehicle is not going to be expecting to be hit from the front. They're looking, usually, they're pulling rear security, so they're looking in the direction they just came. Their focus isn't on what's going on ahead of them. Now of course that's always a constant issue of if you knock out the rear one, or if you shoot at the rear one, well, the front ones are just going to try and hit you. You might be right about that, but it's always good to have a two to three man team uh, trying to conduct an arbit ambush. You always want to have a machine gun to just to hose the crews if they try and get out. Or any supporting infantry. Once you get rid of supporting infantry, then you can pretty much overrun the tanks super easy. Hit it with mobility kill, climb on top, crack a uh, latch open, and then throw a few grenades in, and you're done like dinner. A fun thing about this mission, once we get the extra heavy Fulton, which is in another mission coming up here soon, um, you can actually just take those tanks. They're all yours after that. But the interesting thing, you don't get the crew in the tanks. So, you can speculate on what happens to them. Push it off the side of a cliff. That was a big fucking eagle. Look at the size of this guy. Oh no, that's a condor. Oh, hold up, we have to take that home with us. This mission's not over yet. There's been a change of plans. Eliminate all humans. That bird will be mine, damn it. What a size that big boy. He's so big, we need to fault him. Beautiful. Sounds like both a bald eagle and a black red tailed hawk at the same time. Fascinating. Getting altitude. Departing. I always like when he's on top of the tank and all like those four guys line themselves up and he shoots through them all with the Luger and he just looks down like what the fuck? Yeah, that's interesting. Cause it would imply that the 9mm caliber was more powerful than whatever he was carrying, which I think was like a 38 Mission complete. Or something. Boss. B. Uh B for bad. <laughs> 